Hi guys. Oof. Let me take this down real quick. I hope this video comes out okay. I'm sitting in my room right now, like my filming room, and the hole is still in my wall, in my ceiling. They're coming within the next like couple of days to check it and like look at what they're gonna do to it. Mom, do you wanna go out? I was like, look, like I need to film. Like I miss filming so much and I'm like, I need to film, I need to sit down. I need to do a video, so I brought my desk in here. Mind you, there's no equipment. There's no de there's no other furniture in here, so if you hear the echo, I am sorry, but this is all I can do right now. Tyler and I are about to go on a like dinner date. It's Friday, and it's seven o'clock, so I just wanna do like a very, very, very quick, easy makeup, like super, super simple. What I do when like he and I are literally just like, okay, let's go grab dinner, like something really quick, really easy, not a lot of steps, very, very simple makeup. I think I'm gonna use my L'Oreal foundation. Lately, I've actually been starting with my foundation and doing my eyebrows at the end. So I've kind of just been like going with that and I really, really like it. So I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Foundation and this is in the color 485. I kind of wanted to talk about the entire um, movement that is going on right now that, I don't know, I, I have lots of thoughts, um, lots of opinions and if you follow me on social media, you have heard all of these things already but I am disgusted in knowing that this is even still a real issue. I am doing so much like self-reflection because as someone who is, I'm Puerto Rican, for the most part, everyone kind of knows um, between Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Cubans, like we are, from the Caribbean, we're Caribbean islands, and our ancestors, our ancestors are African. Like that's just what it is. Um, I've always told you guys on my channel, and I've always talked about how proud I am to have my last name and to be a Cora because I look at my last name and I just think of my grandfather. And my grandfather was the best, the best man in the entire world. And I am who I am when it comes to the color of my skin, the shape of my nose, like I got all of that from him. And I've always been so proud of it. And I've said it many, many, many times. Uh, my last name means more to me than my first name. And it has been a week, almost two weeks really. It's been about two weeks of so much self-reflection. I'm using uh, the Morphe concealer in C2.65 so much self-reflection because one thing that i have noticed in being you know spanish especially caribbean um there's a lot of racism that happens within our culture it's just it, it sucks but i've heard it from when i was little i've always heard it and i never really understood it's just something that was said and things that were kind of embedded in our minds and in our way of thinking and you know looking back i'm like oh you know these things were never bad because we're puerto rican like we're puerto rican like these are our people it's not racist but i am here to say if you are puerto rican dominican or cuban these three especially like mind you uh Hispanics, all of us have African in us. Like pretty much everybody in general has African in them. But if you are specifically Puerto Rican, Dominican, or Cuban, we need to take a long, hard look. Educate ourselves on another level. Educate our parents. Educate our grandparents. I am just so so upset sorry guys my camera died um so all i did was put powder all over my face and fill in my brows i'm going to powder my face with my sephora collection micro smooth normally if i powder my face with translucent powder i don't use powder on top of that because i have dry skin already so i don't need powder on top of powder 
but the humidity the humidity in florida is absolutely disgusting and i am sweating through everything i'm using the dame boss uh palette this is the Pro Line Sculpt Create and Define Palette and I'm using the bronzer and I love this bronzer I've talked about this before on my channel and I am just I love it I'm pretty sure she restocked it I don't know for sure but just in case I will leave it linked down below in case anybody wants to check it out okay, and then I'm going to use the blush as well I'm going to use this pinky one and then for highlight I'm going to use Laura Geller Gilded Honey I don't know where my setting spray is, so I'm just going to use this because I'm hungry and I want to go out to eat. Wow, I basically just sprayed myself in the eye. All I'm going to do is put on mascara because, again, I'm not really doing much crazy makeup these days. I'm literally just doing complexion, mascara, lips, and done. And this is the Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced. I actually really, really, really like this mascara. It gives you so much volume and like thickness and i have lashes they're just not thick i really liked what this mascara did to my eyes but i had a reaction to it or i think i did anyway i had a bump on like the base of my eyelashes so uncomfortable i hated it and then on my lips i'm going to use the kkw beauty what is this nude 2 These lip liners are really good. Like, once I was able to swatch them in Ulta, I was like, fine, whatever. I'm gonna use the Quickie Lipstick, ColourPop and Shayla. Ooh. What a beautiful combination. And then I'm going to use my Fenty Gloss. I have not used this at all. I'm probably going to do a low ponytail. Because that's like the easiest thing to do when I don't know what to do. I need to wash my hair actually. I'm going to wash my hair today. But... This is some Monet texturizing spray just to kind of hold my hair in place because it has a little bit of hold but it's not like a super strong hold. This is a new top coming to Brendolyn and Cora. It's so cute. It's not available yet but it will be eventually and I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. If my mirror wasn't broken, I would show you guys what I was wearing. Maybe I'll have Tyler take like a quick photo of it. Or a quick like video clip of it. That you guys can see. But I will definitely be wearing this shirt. And I think I'm going to put on some trousers or something. So I'll see you guys soon. Look at Bay in his outfit. Look at you. Look how cute he looks. Don't mind the stuff on the floor. Oh. Now I need you to get my outfit. So I'm wearing everything, Brennan and Cora. Brennan and Cora top, Brennan and Cora trousers, shirts, heels, Brennan and Cora clutch, Brennan and Cora hoops, Brennan and Cora bracelet. We just got home from our date night. I'm already in my pajamas. These are from Target. I'll leave the link down below if I can. I don't even know how this lighting is about to work. I'm about to do my skincare. Maybe I can show you guys since I have a whole vlogging camera now, you know. Sorry guys, I'm like still trying to figure out how to use this. Skincare time. I'm using my Purity cleanser.
I'm using the Superberry Hydrate Glow Dream Mask from Youth to the People. This is like my nighttime situation. It's really thick. And then I'm using the Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. This has reishi and pentapeptide ashwagandha hyaluronic acid in it. So I just spray this. That is basically it for today. It is clearly nighttime and time to go sleepies. I don't even know what time it is. It's 10.43, so I am about to wind down for the night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, I look stupendous. <laughs> um, good morning, guys. Open up my blinds. It's Saturday, and I love my Saturdays at home because I normally spend the day cleaning. Literally the entire day. Like my Saturday, me and Tyler, well before, during this whole quarantine. Now that he's back at work, he's working Saturdays again. But Saturday was always our cleaning day. Because, you know, you know how it is to be Spanish. Or, yeah, Hispanic. Saturdays, you're putting on your Mark Anthony or your freestyle or your throwbacks. And you're cleaning. Look at this mirror. It's stressing me out. I need to throw it away. Um, but because everything is going on with the house i don't really know what to do or where to put stuff i might still find a way to like clean up because i haven't been able to clean in over two weeks like deep clean and i normally deep clean every single saturday like on my hands and knees like scrubbing the floors cleaning the walls doing the laundry um scrubbing the bathtub all that like i do a deep clean and then i always shower wash my hair do a hair mask shave my legs do that laser treatment from kenzie that I told you guys I will be doing an updated video on it. Um, I just, I need to give it the proper amount of time to use it to actually know if it's gonna work on me or not. So I usually do that. I'm gonna try to figure out a way that I can do it. Right now I have my coffee going, just my little coffee. And I went into my room this morning, the room that has the hole in the ceiling, and I made a disaster when I was getting ready last night. So I have to clean that up. There's the hole that is in the ceiling and basically what happened was I live in a very old, old house um, downtown all the houses downtown are just older houses um, and we moved in and everything's fine Miley but like I would say like early this year we saw a small crack in the ceiling and you know we told our landlord and my landlord lives in Connecticut so she was like, okay, like I'm going to send my husband down there. He's going to take a look. Her husband came. He took a look. He was like, oh, yeah, you guys definitely need, we need to get this, get this replaced for you guys. Right after coronavirus happened, everything shuts down. So they couldn't send anyone, one, because obviously everything was closed. Um, and it's not like we were going to let somebody in our house knowing that coronavirus was going on. So literally right after this coronavirus thing starts to like slow down a little bit. I came home from work one day and I see dust all over the floor. And I was like, oh, my God what is going on and i look up and the crack had officially broken through so i was like cool so i took a picture and i sent it to my landlord and i was like casey like this needs to get fixed and she's like oh my god i did not realize it was getting that bad i'm gonna send people over there asap so people have been in and out of the house doing estimates checking they had to cut the entire portion of the ceiling out because it started to leak because it's been raining every single day in orlando so they had to cut the ceiling out and then they had to put these huge fans. We had to take everything out of the room, which is why everything is in my living room and in my bedroom. They had to put these fans that are like ginormous blowing here so that it can dry it because there was moisture being built. So that's the whole situation with my room. I know nobody asked and nobody probably cares, but just an update on why things are going to be a little bit off for a little while. Um, I keep seeing people ask for clothing videos and like videos styling and unfortunately until this room is fixed I can't really do anything because I don't have a place to film those like I feel like I could I have a little like shelf here I feel like I could do like outfit try on things here but I mean it's not very pretty so if you guys don't care let me know and I'll do them I wanted to do um 
like a spring and summer essentials video and I wanted to do my top 10 favorite pairs of denim video. And then I have like a haul, I bought one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes. Um, and then I bought those bathing suits that I told you guys I'll show you once they come in. They haven't come in yet. Coffee is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee, drink this, and just chill, scroll on my phone a little bit, and then get to cleaning. So I've been sitting here for far too long, and it is time to start cleaning this house. Tyler left to work. That is how I clean the best. I like cleaning completely alone. I do not like anybody helping me clean. Just let me clean. It makes me happy it looks like it's going to freaking pour outside like it's super dark outside which it's been dark all week but i need to get this situated because i just can't like look at my living room right now this is not i cannot live like this like oof oh i also got i'm gonna show you guys really quick i got my boxy charm in the mail a little while ago i look so awful oh my god let me just set this i just bought a car mount for my camera, which I'm really excited about. So I got my BoxyCharm. Um, I literally haven't been paying attention to BoxyCharm at all because I just, honestly, I just don't need makeup at all. I've been hoping that I get skincare and I haven't really gotten anything, but I did get this QMS Intensive Eye Care Day and Night Cream, which is really good. Eye cream is something that I run out of all the time and eye cream is so expensive, so I'm excited to try that. I got this Lily Lashes mascara, which I'm really excited that I got this since my last mascara, I'm pretty sure, ruined my eye um, and gave me that reaction. So I'm really excited to try this. It's called the Triple X Mascara. So I'll probably try this out today and see how I like it. I got this Laura Geller Multitasking Eye, Lip, and Cheek Palette. It's a cream to powder duo. I don't ever use creams, but this is kind of intriguing me to, to try it out. To try the, especially the bronzer. Oh, that's probably like the same color as my face. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but I don't know. We'll see. I also got this, which I'm very. Oh, I keep hearing something beep. This I'm really excited about. This is such a cool like concept, and it's from Beauty Vault, and it's a lip trio, a lip liner trio. So it came with three lip liners, and I love lip liners. It's one of my favorite products. It came with this really, really beautiful red like a really nice red it has like more of like a mauve brick sort of color which is also beautiful and then it came with a brown and that's my favorite type of lip liner brown lip liners um so i'm really excited to try these as well and then i got this but i am giving it away because i am so tired of eyeshadow palettes i don't use my eyeshadows at all and this is from the brand touch and soul and it's called Philip Orange. I'm going to give this to our assistant, Alanis, because she loves eyeshadow. I always pass her any makeup that I'm not going to use. And granted, it's really cute. And this orange color is beautiful, but I'm not going to use it. That is what I got in my BoxyCharm. I am going to start cleaning and finish up my coffee, and I'll see you guys in a little while.
so my living room is basically as clean and as organized as I can make it because all this stuff is here so there isn't really much that I can do but I figured I would just show you all the details if you don't already follow me on Instagram um, I've done like a breakdown of where every single thing from my entire house for the most part is from um, but I'll go ahead and do it on here because I always, 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 always get questions. My couch is Ashley's Furniture. I don't know the name. I We bought it in person, so I don't have even like a style or anything. All of my pillowcases, like the covers, are from Amazon. This blanket is also, I believe, from Amazon. It's like a... Mm, is it Vince Camuto? I think it's a Vince Camuto blanket. The table is from Wayfair. This tray, um, I think I bought it at h and M. I'm pretty sure it was from h and M Home. Um, this book is actually a Gucci Mane book that I bought Tyler, but I just wanted it there because I was because it was white. Um, these matches are just I mean they're just matches. Um, this lanyard or this garland I've mentioned it before, but this is from Amazon. This specific candle this is from a brand called La Botica. It is a small business in New York City. And then I have my snuffer here. I don't even know where my wick trimmer is. I believe it's in my room because I was uh, clipping one of the candle wicks. Um, but this is from, I believe, Amazon as well, I'm pretty sure. This bowl is actually a pilong, like to smash plantains or make guac or whatever. But I just put my palo santo in it and I have my palo santo in here from this same company called La Botica. Um, and then my rug, I always get questions about. This is from rugs, uh, rugs.com or rugsusa.com. Um, don't mind this stupid cable. It's to charge my phone over here. And then this is from, I believe, Marshalls or, yeah, Marshalls. Um, and then my curtains are from Amazon. This little shelf thing right here I got from Marshalls. And that plant is from Ikea. The lamp is whack and it's from Ikea. Um, that little shelf my mom gave me, I don't remember where it's from. All this lighting is terrible. Um, same thing, curtains are from Amazon. And then over here, which is my entryway table, I always get a lot of questions about this as well. Um, this big mirror is from Target. And then all of the frames are from Michaels. And all of the photos that are in here are photos, pretty much all of places that we've been to. Um, this lamp is Ralph Lauren. Uh, this entryway table, I can't remember where I bought it. I think... Amazon or Wayfair. I, I really don't remember. I bought it a long time ago. That is my Sensi uh, wax burner. This little, um, what is this called? Oh, my, my reed diffuser. This reed diffuser is from Target. I got this from Marshalls. This is another one of the garlands from Amazon. These are just some of Tyler's books. Um, I don't remember where this is from. This is my Santal candle from Verishop. Um, this is, I believe, from like Brooklyn candle studio or something uh brooklyncandlestudio.com well i got it on vera shop but it is from why isn't it focusing there we go brooklyn candle studio um it smells really really good and then these uh bunny tails i got at trader joe's a long time ago and this is from target a very long time ago like two years ago and then this basket that's down here i think i got it from like home goods and the blanket in there is from home goods as well um, I think that's pretty much it and then this I still have to finish cleaning But this shelf is from Ikea all of the shelving units that we have are from Ikea If you literally just look up black piped shelving unit, you will find it And then there's a lot of stuff on here that isn't really like specified To anything I bought this box from Amazon. These two candles are from Target This reed diffuser I think was from Urban Outfitters I believe I got it for Christmas and then this little thing was from Target this little plant I need to take that sticker off more of Tyler's books this frame I think I got from home goods. This is from H&M This is like a little section of all of uh, Tyler's Marine Corps. This is his hat um, This is sand from I can't remember. I think a beach in Japan. This is like this little thing of his um this box over here is from my old job, Sea Wonder. They closed down, so you can't find it anywhere. I got this pillar candle from H&M. These are coasters that I think I got at like Home Goods or something. This is a candle from Target. I just haven't burned it because the packaging is beautiful. And this uh, beaded lei is from my best friend Damien's wedding when he got married. He's Hawaiian, so I put that there for decoration. And then down here, these are some of Tyler's tattoo books. This is from Target. This is from Marshall's. I don't remember where this is from. Probably Marshalls or Home Goods or one of them. Um, and then these are Tyler's. I have to clean this whole thing. These are Tyler's uh, Marine Corps books, like photo album things. And when he was younger. And then these are some bookends that I got from my old job as well. So 
that is basically everything that is worth mentioning from my living room. Um, my bar cart I got for Christmas, so unfortunately I don't know exactly where it's from. But if you just search gold bar cart, I'm sure you'll find something similar. Pretty much it. And that's from Ikea as well, because I know I'll probably get asked. And this mirror, no idea where it's from. No idea. But yeah, I have um, my coat rack that we're actually going to get rid of because it just takes up too much and it's not very pretty. Um, I think we got that at Home Goods, And that's just trash that I need to throw away. I just got out of the shower obviously my hair is soaked and I'm about to do my hair removal and just before I even start this is not a review like I said earlier I cannot review it until I do it for the full amount of time that it says that you need to do it but I just wanted to show you guys um, how it works I have been getting Brazilians for years so pain wise I don't think that it's painful at all it's just kind of like it shocks you a little bit but it doesn't hurt like it's not a pain so I'm gonna turn the camera really quick and just show you guys I do my legs the entire leg my entire Brazilian area and my armpits um, so I'm just gonna show you guys my legs and how it works so basically what you're supposed to do before uh, you do the Kenzie don't look at my scar this is my scar from when I fell rollerblading. I need to put something on it to start to lighten it because it's like really bad. Basically, you're supposed to shave your legs right when you're going to do it. And the shaving exfoliates all of the skin and it cuts all of the hair so that when you're doing the Kenzie, the laser actually penetrates through the skin. So this is what the Kenzie right here looks like. It is plugged in right there and it has this little button. So that little button, you push it and it turns on. So you can see the light blinking. It is actually on, there's a pink light and then there's a blue light. The blue light means that it's on level one. Level one, I don't feel absolutely anything. That's level two, that's level three, and that's level four. I normally do my legs on level four because like I said, it doesn't really hurt me. I'm just working my way up to level five. And all you do is you have to be pressing it onto your skin and then you go like that. So like I said, it doesn't hurt. You just feel a little bit of like a shock. Um, but if you have gotten Brazilians before, this will be nothing to you. Like, it does not hurt at all. Um, once I get to my Brazilian area, I bring it down to level 3 because the zap kind of shocks the crap out of me. So I lower it. But they say that if you are lighter in skin and have dark hairs, that's going to be the best for you. Like, this is going to be the best because the Kenzie needs to be able to find the hair. And people that have lighter skin, you're able to see the hairs more. In the Brazilian area, obviously, because that's such a sensitive area, it does hurt a little bit more. Like, you can see I'm literally going over my scar. And you literally just go all the way to where you want. Um, I don't really grow a lot of hair on my upper thighs, so I don't put a lot of, like, focus there. I put more of it um, on my legs. Obviously, the Brazilian, the bikini area. And then my armpits now another thing is that I have been using this now for five I think this is week six so I have noticed my hairs are growing in a lot slower I don't really have thick hair so I can't really speak on if it's thinning my hair out especially on my legs when it comes to my Brazilian area that's kind of where I need to see how the hairs are changing but as of right now um, that's mainly what I'm noticing is my hairs are growing back slower So I only shave once a week and by the time the week hits I do need to shave like my legs are pretty prickly But I have very 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 thin hair and I don't have like I know a lot of people have where they shave and you can still even see like the follicle because their hairs are so thick and you can see like this is pretty zoomed in and You can't really see where the hairs are like you can see a little bit like right here but other than that, you can't really see anything. And it says that you should not to go over the same spot more than three times. So that's literally what I do. I go and do my legs. 
uh, my Brazilian area and then I do my armpits and it usually only takes maybe 15 minutes and you have to do it the same day every single week so I do it every single Saturday because that's like my self-care time when I wash my hair and I'll either put on a YouTube video or I'll just watch that while I do this and the time flies right by so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this i actually have someone coming over because i'm doing someone's makeup one of my friends bria so i'll see you guys like a lot later so it's been a few hours it's 4 50 already the day has like flown by but i just finished doing my friend bria's makeup and i got to meet her baby and he is so beautiful but um th that's oliver thinking that he owns this place but i'm about to put my sheets on they just came out of the dryer so I want to put my sheets on, straighten up the room, like finish straightening up the room, and then I need to blow dry my hair. I washed it and it's pretty much almost 100% air dried. I have some errands that I have to run. I have to drive over to um, my best friend's mom's house because I bought all that bun off and I forgot it at her house. So she took it with her to her mom's house. Her mom lives right next to my mom. So I'm gonna go over there, probably see my mom for just a few to go pick up cat food for my cats. Hi everyone, good morning and happy Sunday. I am sitting on my couch. Um, I'm kind of just doing a little bit of work while I wait for church. I always watch my church at 11, you, be, you know, because of quarantine, nobody's really able to go to church. I can't wait till that changes so we can go back. But I'm just finishing up. I just uploaded the IGTV for Brendan and Cora's uh, Tuesday Drop, which those go up every Sunday if you want to check it out. Um, I'll leave our Instagram down below now. I am about to basically finish off this vlog so I can start editing and get it ready to go up tomorrow I'm trying to get back on schedule of my Monday Wednesday Friday uploads because I really really like doing that and You guys gave me such good feedback about that <clears throat> Tyler just left to Walmart So I'm just hanging out at home. I'm drinking my coffee I'm still literally well not still in my pajamas. I literally woke up in pajamas took a shower and put pajamas right back on um, normally Sundays are a very very chill loungy day for me because I'm usually very exhausted from the work week however I haven't had a day off because yesterday I did makeup and today I have to do makeup as well so by next Saturday I'm gonna be exhausted um, just because I won't have a day off straight until next Saturday I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here I am gonna start editing it so I can try to get it up as soon as possible so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.